Welcome to the Rocking Horse Dreams. Today we are going to take a look at The Lord of the Rings The Duel, a two-player card game by Peter Neugebauer, with art by John Howe, published by Cosmos and Rio Grande. Inside the box you get a very thorough instruction booklet, a beautifully illustrated board, a nice insert, 27 cards for each player, a pawn and a damage marker for each player, and of course, the bridge of Casa Doom. In the game, one player plays as Gandalf and the other as the Balrog while they battle for dominance of the bridge. Let's take a closer look at the cards. Each card has four slots on each side for icons. These icons provide attack and defense. Each player also has cards with special abilities. Gandalf's enchantment, which allows Gandalf to take a random card from the Balrog hand and place it on the table. Gandalf then decides when, to pl when the Balrog will play this card. Gandalf's mirror... The Balrog must defend against the strength of the previous card he plays. It basically makes the Balrog's previous attack pass through Gandalf. Gandalf's list. The Balrog must play the rest of this duel with his cards face up on the table. Gandalf's balance moves the energy markers or the damage markers based on their current position. Gandalf's rage. The next special card the Balrog plays in this duel loses its special effect. And Gandalf's magic. Gandalf may force a future Balrog card to be placed as one of the three cards for the final duel, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And the Balrog special cards. Balrog's trick. Balrog draws a random card from Gandalf's hand and sets it aside as one of the three cards for the final duel. Balrog's power moves the damage markers based on the current position of the pawns on the bridge. Balrog's whip allows the Balrog player to play a card he's already played during this duel again. And then this card goes into the empty space. Balrog's defense moves the last Gandalf card played to be the answering card to this one. And then Gandalf has to use his next turn to fill in the empty space. Balrog's strength. Ba the Balrog player draws a random card from Gandalf's hand to play as the answer to this card. To set up the game, place the pawns at the bottom of the bridge on their appropriate side and put the damage markers on the gray plus sign on the damage track. Each player takes the top nine cards from their deck, and play begins. For the first duel, the Gandalf player goes first by playing one card out next to the board. The players then take it in turns playing cards. The icons for attack and defense now come into play. Each card attacks and defends at the same time. Each icon must be answered by another icon, or the player takes damage. As the players are hit, their damage marker goes down on the damage track. Play goes on like this until either one player's damage marker is on a negative space on the damage track and lower than their opponent's damage marker, or 12 cards have been played. This is the end of the first duel. Each player then discards three cards from their hand, reserving them for the final duel. The player who won the duel moves their pawn up on the bridge the appropriate number of spaces based on the damage track. Each player then draws the top nine cards from their deck. The player who lost the previous duel decides who starts this round. Play continues as before for the second duel and the third duel. For the final duel, each player takes their discarded nine cards. The damage markers go to the red plus sign at the top of the damage track, and play begins. The final duel is played as the others were, but can last until all of the remaining 18 cards have been played. The player whose pawn is at the top of the bridge or closest to the top is the winner. I should note that play can end at the end of any duel if a pawn has made it to the top of the bridge. And that is The Lord of the Rings The Duel. It is a quick, fun, two-player game with some good opportunity for tactics and risk management. I give it a 7 out of 10.